Creating content can be so much fun. It's one of my favorite things to do. And if you are on this channel, it is likely one of your favorite things to do as well, but it can be so hard. For example, this video that you are watching right now, this is the third time I'm having to start this video today, but that's okay because that is our journey as content creators because we have to figure out what to talk about. We have to feel good on camera. We have to learn how to use the gear and then we have to make the content. For me, a lot of the times where things get stuck is in editing. And I worked through that roadblock by utilizing a broadcast technique called live to tape so I can make YouTube videos without having to edit. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Hey friends, my name is Mary Lou Mandel and my mission is to encourage and empower you to create digital content. On this channel, I make content about making content. So if you're into that kind of thing, please do subscribe. Also, on this channel, I am a content creator that has the same struggles that you do. So I am coming from a place of someone who experiences all the problems that come along with content creating. I work through them with you, for you, and try to help you so you can keep going and you can create, release, and repeat. So today I'm going to talk to you about how I have been creating content for like the most of the past year. And that is this, uh, this system called live to tape. So with game shows and like uh, reality shows that are like competition shows, there's a stage, they will produce them live to tape. So they will run it as if it is live, but record it for use later, right? So a lot of the times with my videos, I will do that and I will set it up as if it is live. Like right now, this one is live. If I'm pre-recording, I will record it the same as I am with this one, set everything up ahead of time. So there is as little editing as possible afterwards. And it's not hard to do if you know how to do it, but it does take time to set it up. Like the intro that you just saw, I pushed a button and made that pop up. I did not add that afterwards in editing. And when I change camera angles, that is not something that I am doing in editing. I am doing that as I go along in the video. So I'm going to show you how I do this in a program called Ecamm Live. This Ecamm right here, Ecamm Bam, hey. Um, you can do this in a lot of different programs, whatever is appropriate for you, but Ecamm is a program for Mac that is made to be a live streaming program, but you also can record as well. And a lot of people don't realize that you can just use it to record, you don't have to go live. It is a really powerful production studio and I want you to be able to do this yourself as well. So I'm going to bring you in to live demo mode. Got all of these different windows here that are helping me operate Ecamm. But the important one that we're gonna talk about today is scenes. And that is what allows me to create the live stream in a seamless like sequence of, of scenes, right? Of exactly that. I have different folders that are for different projects, right? So if I have a guest, I have a few different scenes that I add in, but we're just talking about YouTube tutorials today. So this is the, the, the video that you see at the top. And once I'm finished giving my intro, the little like bleep, blop, bloop, this is what we're gonna talk about today. I push a button and I use my stream deck. I have everything programmed in my stream deck, which is this little friend here. And I program all these scenes into this and then I have it on the side. And when I'm done talking, I press the next button and it goes bloop. And then it goes into that intro sequence, which I would click right here, but then it's gonna play and you're not gonna hear me. So we're not gonna go into that right now. And then when that's finished, it comes back to this scene. So because that is a video, and that is a video that I built um, off of a template. I got a template in Envato, um, which is a, a website where you can get different elements for your video projects. I found a template that was like YouTube intro. Uh, you can also make a YouTube intro in Canva. I can teach you how to do that. If that's something that you would like to know, it's really great. And then I added a song into it that I got off of thematic. It is a royalty free song. So I know that I can use that without any copyright claims and it's super cute. So we can play that video and then I automate it. So when that video is finished, 
it comes back to me here. I can switch to the different cameras and I can also make videos automatically move to the next scene. So that's where we're at now. And now when I'm ready to start doing a demo, I typically do a demo either on the desktop or on a screen share. So I already have those set up here. So if I go to my desktop split, you see me and you also see the overhead camera. So if I'm teaching you something on the phone, you can see where I'm actually pushing the buttons as we go along. So this is a screen share from a second computer, um, but you can also do this from your own computer as well. But because I'm, I do like show a lot of stuff, I need more like computer power. This is plugged into a second camera as a video input. And if that's something you need to know how to do, I can definitely teach you how to do that. And if you haven't been on my channel before, I have tons and tons of tutorials for content creators. And there's a playlist specifically that is tutorials for content creators, which is kind of all encompassing. And then I have tutorials for specific types of content and different programs as well. So make sure you do check those out. And if there's something that you can't find, let me know because I'm happy to make that tutorial for you. So as you continue with your video, you know, there's, there's other options that you can do. You can do different shapes with the camera here in Ecamm. So like if I wanna share the whole screen, right? That last one was just half of the screen and I need to share the whole screen, I can do this and then I can make myself this little bubble that I can move around wherever I need it to be, right? So right here on the right side, you'll see these are my show notes. So if my camera's right in front of me, this computer is off to the side and this is my show notes so I can keep track of what I wanted to say. Sometimes I will write it out really detailed. Sometimes I'll write a full script. And sometimes like today, it's just a little outline to keep me, keep me on track. And you can also um, bring in graphics that you can have automate um, with a click of the button. So I know when I get to my sign off, that's where I like to say, you know, come follow me on Instagram. So when I go to that scene, this little graphic pops up and then it disappears on its own. So I had to build that graphic outside of Ecamm, but I can bring any of those in and lay them anywhere that I want. Say if I wanted to bring it and relocate it, you can move it, right? You can resize it. You can do all sorts of good stuff with that. And then when I'm finished, I will click this outro sequence, which you will see. And then once that outro sequence plays through, it automatically cuts the video. It will shut it off. It says, cut, you're done. And if I'm live streaming, right, that's when it ends the stream. So that's an automation that I have set up in here with my countdown screen, right? So we're not typically using a countdown screen anymore. But if I do, I want it to automatically change whenever I am done with the timer, right? So in this one, I can change it here by saying go to the next scene when finished. So when that timer is done, it's going to just go to the next scene. And this is a good tricky way if you wanted for it to automatically change cameras without you having to push the button if you know how much time you want to spend on a certain shot you can put that timer and then you can like hide it. So you don't visibly see the timer, but it is still running in the background. And when that timer's done, it'll switch cameras. That is how I utilize Ecamm Live to do live to tape. Now, if you haven't tried Ecamm Live yet, I highly suggest that you do. This program has changed the game for me. So I do have an affiliate link in the description plus a promo code for you to use if you want to try it out. So once I film a tutorial this way, right? And if you make little flubs because you're not live, you can actually now bring this into an editor, cut out some different things if you need to fix it. Um, and if you are doing this live, right? If you actually streamed this to your channel, you can make that video private. You can delete the post, but you will have the file through Ecamm that you can take into your editing program. I like to use Premiere and then fix the little things that need to get fixed. So like I will be doing that with this video because there was one scene that I went to and you couldn't hear my microphone. So I will be pulling this back down. I will make my edits, which you can also make some edits in YouTube studio as well, but do that at your own risk. 
because it can be difficult to use where Premiere, you can get really specific with how you want to make your cuts, but then you're good to go and you can upload that. And if you've really practiced your topic, especially if you're not having to do anything technical, if you're just like point A, point B, point C, that's what I have to say. You pretend like you are on stage, you are speaking live to a crowd and there is no editing. There is no retakes. That's it. You did it. And then you're done. You get, you delivered your information and then you are good to go. So I hope that that was helpful. That is my favorite way of creating content. And that helps me keep my stuff as a um, smooth show tutorial with the information that you need, but also keep my life moving so I'm not spending all my time in editing because the time that it takes to have to like work with three different camera angles and position them and all of that kind of thing and adding in graphics and adding in the music and all of this can take a lot of time. So doing it like this streamlines everything. It keeps you moving, keeps you going so you can create, release, and repeat. So if you are a content creator or you want to be a content creator, you can totally be a content creator. It's just about finding the right systems, the right tools, and the right mindset. So you can create, release, and repeat. If you haven't hooked up with me yet, found me yet on Instagram, please do follow me over there. If you have any questions, you can DM me there or let me know in the comments if there's anything that you need help with as a content creator. And as always, drink some water, be good humans, and I will see you in the next video.